Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Today is a fairly exciting day. So yesterday we announced Room Vision PTZ, which is our new PTZ camera, fully IP based. It has a 12 times optical zoom. It has an 80 degrees opening angle, more than the previous uh, one. It has a 4K sensor and it has more intelligence built into the camera itself. So the codec does not have the same load as with the PTZ 4K. To the setup of this meeting room, so it's a quad cam I'm talking to here. It's basically a building quad cam into the EQX device. Um, I have on the sides, I have a Room Vision PTZ cameras connected. On the top, I have also a new Ceiling Microphone Pro we are using, trying to use only the device inside this meeting room to record this video and no external device, except the overview camera. So you can see that it's all actually all legit what I'm talking about here now. Now I changed from the front camera to the side camera. So this is one of the new Room Vision PTZ cameras, which uh, is filming me in a fixed preset here. So I have turned on present tracking now and the camera went to a default position. Um, it has a little frame around it, so it can capture a little bit more of what's going on to uh, help a little bit in the, in the finding people who are entering the stage. I'm sitting, the stage is slightly above me, so only once I get up, it will actually start tracking me. So that's what I'm doing right now. I get up. I start to move around in the meeting room. I start moving to one side of the meeting room. Um, so you can probably see I'm like clearly outside of this zone I have, you have seen in the overview. Um, and it's also good to see how the quality of the tracking is on one end, like how the speed is and on the other end on how the uh, image quality is. I actually really like the image quality of the camera. So when I stand back here to the whiteboard, it will capture me nicely, like as large as makes sense to draw something nice on the whiteboard. And when I walk back to my chair and uh, it should, it keeps following me as well. And as mentioned, the stage is uh, like where I am now and as I sit down it will lose me from the stage even though I'm still visible but I'm not technically on the stage anymore and it will go into the default position where I was previously. So that was present tracking. So that was about the camera. I also wanted to show you how you can improve uh, an environment with the remote control being used inside the meeting room. So let's say the automation is not sufficient you have in a meeting room, the presenter tracking, speaker tracking, or change of cameras, then um, you can take, for example, one of these devices, connect it to our video devices, being it a codec, being it a, a camera, and the USB dongle you connect there is a HID, device, we can, with a little script, listen to the commands which are sent by this device, and then we can act based on, the, on these commands. So that's what I'm doing here. By presenting the Room Vision PT set in like one single video or small, little cut, little video, I'm changing from one scene to the next, with this device. So, okay, so I can easily swap from talking to this camera, talking to this camera, um, showing this camera, or showing the microphone. I have it all like one click away and I can just like go ahead and choose to do whatever I please to show. Or going back to my friend Baby Yoda, I can do this as well. So another scenario would be like when I uh, use one camera in the front to talk to or the side camera uh, on the side to talk to 
like this directly. I can also swap to the camera which has the whiteboard here. So I can basically then go ahead and give this person some hair, something which is lucky from my end a little bit. So I give it some nice curly hair and I have walked to the whiteboard and I'm walking back to the seat and there I go. I'm back on my seat and I can continue talking here. So how is it done? How do I deal with this um, remote control? I basically connect the USB dongle to the codec. I um, enable the peripheral input mode on the codec, um, shown, shown here. And then I can start listening to the commands. When a command is sent from a device which is not known, we'll get an error message and it basically shows you what the command looks like and then you can reuse it in your scripts. So that's fairly convenient. You don't need to like do uh, debugging in order to find out what's actually, um, what the command looks like. You can just do it like ad hoc connecting it, install the script I refer to in the description and then start working with the script. So that was it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it helped. I hope you did get an impression on how it works, how it looks like, how the camera quality is. So you can uh, decide based on this, would you like to go to one of our offices and to have a look at it or maybe just purchase it right away. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it helps and I uh, hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.